Today is uh, 23 of the 12th of 2017. We are about one day to celebrate the birth of our Messiah. Uh, the Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only and only begotten son, that whoever believe in him shall not perish but have entire everlasting life. The Bible says in the book of Romans that we have all sinned, all people are born sinners and, and run short of glory of God. It doesn't matter how good you are, how uh, generous you are to the poor, how much good act you are doing. The Bible says we are all born sinners and God show that it's worthy that he sent his only and only begotten son to be the sacrificial lamb for everyone that we may have everlasting life. Long time ago, people used to have uh, cleanliness or cleaning people where they used to throw an animal for cleansing and there was a place in the temple in the in the temple in front of the temple in the pulpit there is of called holy of Oris. only the priests were allowed to enter there and after the slaughter animal they used to clean people of their sin for a certain period of time maybe six months three months one year and they used to sacrifice an lamb or any animal, and the the priest enter in the holy of holies to pray for the people, so that God can clean them. But you remember when Jesus died, that holy of holies, the curtain that was surrounding the, that that there was a, um, it was surrounded by a curtain, and that curtain was cut into two, from top to bottom. And since then. We go to God direct. There is no way we sacrifice a lamb to clean people. There's no more holy of holies where a priest enter into holy of holies to clean people. But uh, we go through Jesus. Jesus was born for us. This is, we are about in the New Year, year Eve, about to enter New Year Eve, which is 24, which is tomorrow, to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Jesus was born so that we may be, um, we may be sanctified and he, we may be acceptable before God. He died, he, he was born for us. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah that a king is born for us. He's the kingdom and all government are in his authority. His dominions are in, his, in him. He has the, all the dominion. The government is in his, on his hand. And when Jesus died, he died for us. And when he at, at about 12 in midnight, the curtain was cut into two when Jesus was dying, meaning that now we have direct access to God. You can pray direct to God. As we celebrate the birth of Jesus, know that Jesus was born for you and me, that we may have life and have eternal, that we may live holy and may be acceptable before God. There is no way we can be sanctified apart from through Jesus. There is no other sanctification, not by your own good deeds, by being clever or by knowing many things or being able to do things or being able to help the poor. It is by the power of the blood of Jesus and Jesus who came to the world for us. When you love someone, you have to give something for a service. So God so loved the world, John 3, 16, that he gave his only and only begotten son. So when you love, you have to give. God loved us. He gave his son as a sacrificial lamb. To, to be born and later to die as a sacrificial lamb so that there is no more lamb sacrifice. Remember, remember that as you celebrate Christmas, there is no more lamb sacrifice. Jesus was, uh, was the sacrificial lamb for everyone. There is no more slaughtering goat on a sheep to sanctify people. We are sanctified through Jesus who died once and for all. Do not return Jesus to the cross. He died once and for all. And he is born for us. A king is born for us. Let's celebrate the birth of Jesus, knowing that he was born for us. Nemo Shiare, he is born for us. Jesus, all authority in his hand. Remember God. God said, when you are full, this Christmas when you eat and you are full, remember God. The Bible says in the book of Exodus, when you are full, remember me. God knew that the, when man is full, the probability of man to worship God go down. or It is universally proportion. The ability for a man to worship God is universal proportion to life achievement and satisfaction. So that's why God said, when you are full, remember him. So this Christmas, remember God. Remember God this Christmas. Remember Jesus was born for you. Have a happy, merry Christmas and a happy new year. 
a king is born for us, all government and authority and dominion in his hands. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year as we celebrate the birth of Jesus, a new year with the new restoration beyond uh, 2018, 2018 and beyond. It's a year of God favor. I wish God blessing and Happy New Year, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2018 and beyond. God bless you. Amen.